Hello Youtubers, here we are, Rosin and Tommy. This time, our video will try to explain how C++ can determine the position of a number in a sequence of numbers with two methods of data search. So, we use the simple search methods, linear and binary search. Now, let's start to work. Firstly, create a sequence of numbers from array of integer with one missing number. So, we make, we make it like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8 Then, who is the missing number? Yeah, it's 5 That missing number will be input by user So, we make an integer variable named angka Okay, what will we do now is create a function based on linear search so that the missing number will enter to those sequence of numbers. We name it linear with a void type data has one parameters enter a as input value. In this function we need to have some variable an array of integer that same as integer numbers in main function integer flag for a flag if the position has found two variables as temporary storage and one variable for comparisons for element of array to assign input value to sort array we use the while loop where the, where the loop will stop when the flag is 1 and variable i valued by 7 Loo. linear search do a comparison to all the elements of array to search the same element value as the input value. Accordance with the concept of linear search, we still do a comparison to all the elements value, but we change the condition into if the input value is less than the current element value and greater than an element value compared before. Okay. Now, the next explanation will be continued by me, Tommy Arianto. When the condition are meet, then the current element value will be stored in the first temporary variable. Then the element will be assigned by the input value. Now, the input value already are in the right position, but our problem here. Where is the current element's value? It's still in the first temporary far. To return the current element value, we use some iteration. Where in the iteration, current element plus one value will be assigned to a second temporary variable. Then the current element which is on a first temporary variable will be assigned to the element that previously filled by the current element plus one value and then the first temporary variable will be valued by the second temporary variable and the program will perform the same way as before until the all element back to its position next make a function based on binary search the concept is in each step the algorithm compares the input k value with the k value of the middle element of the array if the k match then a matching element has been found so its index or position is returned otherwise if the so k is less than the middle element's k, then the algorithm repeats its action on the subarray to the left of the middle element or if the input k is greater on the subarray to the right. Then the function named binary with a void type data has one parameter integer p as inputted value 
in this function we need to have some variables an array of integer that same as in numbers in main function in flag for a flag if the position has found two variables and temporary storage and one variable for comparison for element of array and three variables to make a binary search working then put an iteration for each function to show the result now call the linear and binary function in the main function so execute the program input the number 5 and you will see the number 5 have the right position in the sorted array and finally the program will show the numbers of comparison for its function so we can conclude the that the binary search is more effective and efficient than the linear search because it uses less comparisons and iteration so this is an our tutorial video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching goodbye